Time now for some comedy and proving that our little green island is packed full of laughs. Tonight's comedian is a hairy little stand-up who looks like he's sitting down. It's the very talented Dermot Core. Right, um, I'll introduce myself. My name is uh, Dermot Core. Um, Dermot is an Irish name. Uh, in Donnybrook, they say Dermot. Um, in England, they, they call me Dermot. <laughs> and uh, in Ballymun, what is it they called me the, the, today? What was it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Bleeding Nordy! <laughs> uh, do you know, I like my name. Um, I, I, it, it's got meaning in history. It means free of envy. And it comes from ancient Irish mythology, from the love story of Jermyn and Grania, where Jermyn steals Grania away from Finn McCool and they go riding round Ireland. <laughs> on a horse. This is supposed to be a horse. <laughs> now, you see, apparently Jermyn was irresistible to women. Now, the reason for this is because he was the son of Angus, the god of love. Now, whenever I heard about this guy, I pictured in my mind this great specimen of a man dressed in godly robes, surrounded by a harem of beautiful women, lying on a chaise long, eating bunches of potatoes. <laughs> because grapes don't grow here. And then he would jump up from that chaise long, and he would jump onto his chariot that was made of solid gold that was being drawn by donkeys with flames coming from their hooves. And he would grab any one of those beautiful women and he would bring her up to the highest peak and there he would proclaim, I shall make love to you. Then I realised he was Irish, so he probably just went, Oh, boobies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, got, I got to actually um, apologise for my general appearance. I'm quite scruffy looking at the moment uh, with my hair and my beard, and I, I, I'm doing something else and I need to grow it. And, and, and so you'll be surprised to know that I'm actually in a relationship. It's great being in a relationship with somebody from another culture because not only do I get to learn about her culture, I also kind of learn a bit more about mine, what it's like to be Irish, through her eyes, from things that she asks me, and she asks me a lot. Like last week she asked me about confessions. What exactly are confessions? And because she's Swedish, they're Lutheran, so that they don't have confessions. So, so I told her, I was like, basically, well, confessions is um, where you confess all your sins. Okay, yeah, yeah, but where do you do it? Well, you do it in a chapel or a church. Okay, and uh, do you do it at the altar? No, 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 you do it in a confession box. You confess in a box. No, a confession box. It's different. It's not a box. And who do you confess to? Confess to the priest. Is he in the same box? No, he's not in the same box. He's in a different box. Look, get off the idea that he's a, it's a box. It doesn't actually look like a box. You don't get into a box. And in fact, it actually looks more like a fancy looking, very ornate wardrobe. <laughs> in fact, a double wardrobe. And what happens is the priest, he gets into one of the wardrobes and you get into the other wardrobe. Now, you can't see the priest because there's a plywood wall between you, but you can hear him because there's holes in it. So what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to lean into that holy plywood wall and confess all the sins that you've committed since the last time you were in the wardrobe. <laughs> but what happens is the priest, who's just as eager to get out of there as you, quickly starts off the confession session with a how long has it been from your last confession? To which you reply with a lie. <laughs> Instead of two weeks, you say two days. So, and obviously you can't then confess two weeks of sins in what he thinks is only going to be two days because he'll be thinking he's the devil himself beside you and he'll be checking that holy plywood wall for heat. Um, I'm, I'm an actor as well. I, um, uh, I, I don't just do stand-up. Um, I was in a film called Hunger. Have you ever heard of it? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I, had a, I was totally naked in that film, actually. <laughs> We're totally naked, yeah. I had a small part. <laughs> it was cold. And um, I, was, I was really impressed with myself. I was quite happy because it, it won a lot of awards. And, and, and my dad saw it for the first time a couple of weeks ago on DVD. And he's a proper mid-Ulster culture farmer. And uh, I said to him, I said, Dad, what did you think? What did you think of the show? And he says, Jesus, boy, you could have hit your cock a couple of slops. <laughs> anyway, my name is Dean Jeremy Cornyn. Thank you very much. If you want to see more of Dermot, you can catch him at the Laughter Lounge in Belfast on the 14th and 15th of May and right here in Dublin's Laughter Lounge on July the 8th, 9th and 10th. Ladies and gentlemen, Dermot Corr. Well done, Dermot.